Hi, I'm Maya. I'm a software engineer on the perception team at Waymo, and I work on construction. So at Waymo, we use the word construction pretty broadly to refer to any situation where our understanding of the world uh, via our maps or uh, other priors is no longer sufficient or even valid. Today, I'm going to walk you through some examples of the Waymo driver navigating through construction in San Francisco. In this example, we're making a left turn on a road that seems to have some active construction. There are some road signs that are warning us of the construction ahead and some cones. And uh, we see a construction worker and they're holding a handheld stop sign. So we make a stop and wait as instructed. Uh, there's an excavator that's blocking our path ahead. And the excava excavator slowly starts clearing the path. Um, however, even when that that path is clear, we don't start proceeding and we wait uh, for the construction worker to flip their sign to the slow sign, at which point we start proceeding slowly, uh, slower than the posted speed limit, uh, so that we are proceeding uh, very safely for the sake of construction workers who are in close proximity to truck. Uh, in this one, uh, the Waymo driver is approaching uh, an active construction zone. It sees a road sign with a right arrow on it and recognizes that it's expected to stay on the right side of the cone corridor and that the center lane is closed. It's driving slower than the posted speed limit uh, and then drives through an intersection and then some more construction happening, forcing it to drive over uh, what used to be parking spots and then nudging around the parked vehicle uh, before the construction ends. One of the key challenges of navigating construction zones is that detecting and even correctly understanding the objects that make up construction is not enough. Uh, it's also important to, uh, to have a semantic understanding of how these objects actually interact together to make up the scene around us. We've made tremendous improvements in how we handle construction, especially since we've scaled our operations in uh, San Francisco. For example, we now have a much uh, richer semantic understanding of road signs, and we're also uh, much better at doing lane estimation, uh, which is the act of predicting which lanes are drivable uh, to navigate through construction. And we're doing this in a very scalable way that has also generalized to downtown Phoenix as well. If you see a, a Waymo car navigating through construction, uh, know that it's doing so with safety in mind, the safety of its riders, but also of other cars, uh, pedestrians, and construction workers. <laughs>